Hey everybody, <clears throat> tonight I am going to make uh, grilled uh, chicken kebabs, but I'm going to do them with a ginger teriyaki sauce. So what I got here is some um, organic smart chicken and uh, ooh, it looks beautiful and uh, I'm just going to cube that up. I think we all know how to do that. But um, you can use chicken thighs if you want um, because of the, the high heat. But I'm actually going to do mine on the smoker at 350 degrees. And basically all you want to do is... Uh, chunk these up. So I'm going to do them in about pieces like this. Not too bad. So I cut the breasts across and then I'm cutting it in half the chunks. And what I'm going to do is after I get these all completed <coughs> Will only take a few minutes. Is uh, I'm gonna put them in a Ziploc bag. <clears throat> I might even put them in a. Uh, I don't know how yet. I might put them in the uh, uh, food saver vacuum bag. Vacuuming apparently makes it marinate faster, but with all that liquid, <clears throat> cancel that somehow. What I'm going to probably end up doing is just dropping these in a plastic bag. I don't know if I have a food saver um, marinating container. I can't remember if I've got one or not, but these are just about done. cubed up they're they're pretty much the same size uh, all the way around but uh, let me get a ziploc bag okay I'm gonna put a bag here I'm just gonna throw the chicken chunks in there this is two breasts so I mean it'll, it'll leave leftovers for them And uh, I don't want to use my chicken hands to open this, but let me give it a taste. Actually, well, it smells amazing. Stand this up. I uh, use a piece of paper towel to wrap this bottle. And uh, I'm going to let this sit in the fridge for about four hours. Four hours. And then we're going to take it out. I'm going to get some bamboo skewers and I'm going to soak those in water. Uh, they can soak for four hours uh, so they don't burn up. And when we come back, I'm going to skewer these up and we're going to get them out on the grill. Can't wait. This could be a great dinner. Uh, I'm thinking of serving it with broccoli. And we'll come back and I'm going to make my homemade ranch that's fresh, that it beats anything that you've had in the store. And uh, we're going to use that for a dipping sauce, kind of like a, 
a nice cool creamy with a hot um, spicy teriyaki ginger I, I think the two of those combined would be awesome so we'll be back all right we're going to make the ranch dressing nice cool clean ranch dressing to dip the uh, ginger teriyaki uh, chicken in once we get it off the grill I'm going to serve that with a little bit of broccoli and we could even pour a little bit of this over the, the broccoli as well this is better than any hidden valley or anything you're going to find in any of the stores that it's easy to make and it's super fresh so got all the ingredients here this is going to be a half cup of sour or a half cup of sour cream I'm just going to try to put that in there to that I'm going to add a half cup of mayonnaise just going to get that in there then, common ingredient in ranch, we're going to do a half cup of fresh buttermilk. Ooh. Wow. That's just going to be so good. And you can do dried, but I prefer it fresh. Uh, we're going to do a tablespoon of fresh dill. We're going to do a tablespoon of fresh chopped chives. Let's get them all in there. And a tablespoon of fresh chopped parsley. Get that in there. And then for the rest here, we've got a tablespoon of onion powder, a tablespoon of garlic powder, uh, probably half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. We're just going to kind of put that in there and mix it all up. Wow. Probably could have used a larger bowl, but we're just going to mix that up really good. Here's a little taste. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, so fresh. So good tasting. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. All right. So what I'm going to store this in is a just regular mason jar. I use these for my homemade marinara sauce. And I'm just going to put this dressing right in there. Hopefully I can do it without making a huge mess. Uh, Not too bad. Mm -hmm. A little bit on the edge here, but close that up. Kind of give it a wipe down a little bit. And there you have the freshest, tastiest ranch. <laughs> I don't think you've ever had in your life. It's that good. And uh, I got to get this in the fridge and we're going to let it sit for about two hours and let it get nice and cold. In the meantime, let's get the chicken out uh, so I can skewer that up. All right, well, we've got the chicken that's been marinating. I said four hours. Uh, I didn't cook this last night, so I ended up going 24 hours with it. I don't know how that's going to affect it at all, but we will see. So I'm going to slice this open a little bit and pour it into a bowl. Now those two breasts make a lot of chicken, so hope your folks are hungry. Anyway, I've got a few skewers here that I've soaked in water. 
And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of that chicken and I'm going to put it right on these little skewers. These are larger skewers that I've just uh, cut so that I can fit fewer meat on it um, because we're only eating, I'm only eating about six ounces. So I would want smaller skewers. So let's get one. That looks pretty good. Kind of get that to the side over here. And oh, this smells incredible. It's uh, it's hard to describe. It's kind of orangey almost, or like uh, orangey chicken, but it's got that sweet teriyaki and. Uh, the flavors are just right there, they're on point. So this should be pretty interesting. Let's throw this one down here. So I'm not going to bore you with uh, going through all of these. Let's just say I'm going to make a bunch of skewers and uh, I will come back. I just switched over to my phone. If I can try to get one hand here. These are the internal temp according to the probe is about 140 right now. So what I want to do is take some of this marinade. I just want to coat coat them again. Now this is not the marinade. Obviously they were they were soaking in. I discarded that raw chicken you have to but this is what was left in the bottle now that I got those coated I'm just gonna flip them really quick side, close this up and let it finish off. Internal temps 145, so we'll be back in a few. Oh, coming out to check on them. Looking amazing. Well, we've got everything done, and the first thing I'm going to do to plate is I'm going to take some broccoli that I've got steamed up, and I'm just going to put that down about there. And I'm just going to kind of Surround the bowl a little bit here with some broccoli.
I love steamed buttered broccoli. Now to top that, I'm just going to go with a little bit of parm cheese. Just enough to make a little bit of a dusting. In the center bowl, I'm going to put this creamy, delicious, chilled ranch dressing that I made. Wow, it's amazing. And now the chicken. The chicken was grilled perfectly and I've weighed it out and it's about one ounce per stick. And I think I can throw on one more there. And there we have it. I'm just going to sprinkle a few chives right on top. Can't wait to try this. I'll start with a little chicken. flavorful tanginess of the chicken with that cool refreshing uh, ranch oh it's, it, it's crazy crazy good it's light it's healthy mm. So good. It's easy to do. You got to try it. Um, let me get a little bit of broccoli here. buttery, a little bit of that parm. I mean, who doesn't love broccoli and ranch? I mean, I guess people that don't like broccoli, but um, you can also go with just the skewers and run that around. Mmm. Mmm. It looks beautiful. It's easy to make. Back full of that chicken. Bunch of skewers. You don't have to use broccoli. Um, you could put a salad together. You could do anything like this. Have a bunch of guests come over. Nice, quick flavorful thing and they'll be talking about it forever after they leave and in a good way not like did you eat that it's really really good and I wouldn't steer you wrong on this so um, I hope you try it uh, thanks for watching 
Again, if you like the videos, hit the link to subscribe and to uh, hit the like button. And that little bell, I guess what it does is it tells you when I'm posting new videos. Wow. So, let me continue to enjoy this. And I might need a little more ranch. Oh, <laughs> oh that's so good. We'll see you. Have a great day.